The 6.5 is on the road at Dell Technologies World 2024 here in tech analyst's favorite land, Las Vegas. Dan, it has been an incredible event so far. It's infrastructure AI, it's software, it's services, it's customers, and big partners, NVIDIA and ServiceNow, on stage with Michael Dell. Yeah, it was a big keynote. Uh, the event had a ton of momentum. You could see the, uh, you know, the audience was really engaged. And of course, you, you mentioned all the infrastructure and the big data center stuff, which we'll be talking about here in a moment, but it's also been a massive day not only here in Las Vegas, but really worldwide for the launch of the AI PC, um, the Copilot plus PC. We're going to have to keep working as analysts on getting yeah. the architecture right, Pat. <laughs> but what a big day, exciting day. What a great run for Dell uh, over the past few months, and it's really good to be here in Las Vegas. Yeah, totally. And you know, we've heard this uh, term uh, thrown around on stage. We saw this at GTC. It's this concept of the AI factory. I love that term. It kind of reminds me of like a power plant, you know, making stuff. And I can't think of a better person to have this conversation to kind of break this down than Sam Grocott. Sam, great to see you. I'm great. You refer to me as Mr. AI Factory. I've been pushing the AI factory for months now. So I, I live, I operate, I thrive in the AI factory. So you're the guy. Okay. I'm the guy. <laughs> That's yes. great. I mean, to be fair, Jensen and Michael have been working on this for over a year, but I it's my job to make the AI factory real for our customers and partners. Yeah, and listen, explaining things and communicating, so we like to think that the best technology will always just make things happen, but uh, AI to some people are so confusing and doing whatever that you do to make that simpler for people to understand, to transact, kudos to you. Yeah, uh, thank you, and it, it's, been, it's been a journey. You know, we talk a lot about the easy button for AI, Let's be frank, there is nothing easy about AI right now. Now, we are working really hard to make that, and our attempt at doing that is to package everything together yeah. uh, and you know, put it under a single nomenclature that we can align with our partner ecosystem around. And the AI factory is that single unifier for all of us to kind of find our role in, tuck yeah. in, and, and be able to tell a very compelling uh, customer and partner story with. Well, you know, sometimes Pat tells me I'm a robot, so I should be working in an AI factory. <laughs> but in all serious, this is a really big moment, and I like what you're saying about the easy button or the lack thereof. You know, we've spent a lot of time doing market intelligence, and what we're finding is big investments on POCs, a lot of redistribution of partnerships, it's a reconstruction of vendor relationships. Yeah. Companies are almost inflecting and starting yeah. like it's this the GPU era is a whole new yeah. thing, a whole new era, a whole new buying cycle. And the AI factory, Sam, is a really exciting uh, moment for Dell. Yeah, and I, I thought Michael and Jensen did a really good job talking about you know this journey we've been on to modernize the old data center. You can modernize to a certain extent, but when you get to the AI use cases, it's a rebuild from day one, and it's architected yeah. from the ground up for an AI first mindset. You can only modernize the old ways so far without having to then deploy the new technologies and really take advantage of AI. 70 so, Blackwells, don't, don't seduce me, Pat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's uh, right. So there's been a lot of discussion on, and by the way, this has been a discussion for 15 years, is where should I do my workload, mm. right? Where do I do, where does my AI factory sit? And is it, is it going to be one of these, it should be in the cloud, uh, it should be on-prem and the edge, or is it one of these uh, everywhere? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because, look, I think there's a lot we can learn from over the last decade. We all remember 10 years ago, cloud first. The, pr the amount of pressure that every board was pushing on IT to find your cloud use case get in the cloud, and, and a lot of people frankly thought everything was going to be in the cloud. Right. Fast forward 10 years later and they couldn't have been more wrong in so yeah. many different ways. We still have upwards of 70 to 80% of data that lives on premises right. or at the edge. So maybe a third of data or so moved to the cloud. And then the cost, expect the, the cost realizations of that bill of putting all of your data in the cloud really doesn't make economical sense. So you have to take a really strong use case approach. So I think we can learn from yeah. these I don't know, cloud sins of the past is one way to think about it and not do that with AI. 
what we saw in the first inning, say last year, was that pressure to do AI right away, find that early win. People went to the public cloud. Yeah. But we have to be smarter, not wait 10 years to figure out what the cost is, not wait 10 years to find out what workloads make sense. We can do that right now, and I think what we're going to find, and we certainly believe, is that you should bring AI to your data, not bring your data to AI. And that really fundamentally pits on-prem versus public cloud right away. And yes, data will be everywhere, but I think it's finding the right percentages of the use cases. Will a third of your AI workloads live in the cloud? I think so. Yeah. Will two thirds live on-prem at the edge or on a device? Yeah, I think so. So I think finding the way to deploy the AI factory in the right place at the right time is kind of the art of being successful with AI. So let's take a step back, because I think we've sort of, uh, as Stephen Covey likes to say, begin with the end in mind, mm -hmm. right? Um, but the Dell AI factory, you know, you put up, or Michael put up a great slide, so for those that were there, you know, they saw it. But some of the audience maybe hasn't seen the Dell AI factory. Can you construct the factory a little bit for the audience and tell yeah. them a little bit about what Dell is meaning by an AI factory? Yeah, sure, sure. So the AI factory is essentially the collection of products, solutions, and services that AI, uh, that, I'm sorry, that Dell delivers and builds for our customers and our partners. So there's five fundamental elements to the AI factory. Uh, the first is your data. It always starts with your data. That is ultimately going to be what's the differentiator for organizations to do AI in a unique, non-generic way. And where does your data live? Again, back to on-prem. It largely lives on-prem or at the edge. Then you get a layer, a, a layer of infrastructure on top of that. Dell is uniquely advantaged in that we have the broadest portfolio of AI infrastructure. So whether it's your, your laptops, your devices, to your compute, storage, networking, data protection, and then of course your hybrid cloud, multi-cloud capabilities as well. So that infrastructure layer is the second layer. The third layer is our open ecosystem approach, and we are very much an open ecosystem. So whether you're talking about silicon diversity with NVIDIA uh, GPUs, Intel, AMD GPUs, or you're talking uh, closed models or open source models, uh, we're showcasing meta, hugging face uh, integration tomorrow, we believe customers need flexibility and choice to decide what type of applications to run within the factory. Kind of the top of the, the factory is services. We can start from strategy to implementation, use case prioritization, and then ultimately scaling it and managing your infrastructure for you. At the end of the day though, the last fifth element, so to speak, of the AI factory is the use cases. It, and to me, I could have started there. Sure. It's like the economy, it's stupid. Like what you, it's like what it's you want to actually do with the factory. It, it, exactly, so we always, we have this tendency to start from the, the data and build up. Like the economy's stupid, it's the use case stupid. Yeah. Every enterprise on earth is looking for help of what is the right use case. And if we start our conversations there, we can get really quickly to our customers' needs and get them that early quick win so they can, you know, pacify the pressure that they're getting, but also develop muscle memory on what is successful AI look like? How do I build a true ROI of AI? Of AI? I think that's where most customers are looking for help today. So we talked a little bit about where AI factories in general should be, mm -hmm. and it's like everything, it's, com it's it, it, it depends, right? Yeah, that's right. And you're going to have things spread out, and by the way, I like the mature place we're at as an industry that we're, where we just look at where these things should be and why, and you hit cost. But now that these private cloud um, software stacks are five to six years old, um, it's still not as much as the cloud software stacks, which are about 15 years ago, but the, the, the private cloud software stacks are getting more mature. Mm -hmm. So you've got to apply a DevOps uh, mm -hmm. a mentality against that, but that's 75% of the data being on-prem mm -hmm. or, or on the edge, yeah. it just, it pulsates. And the enterprise that, that, that we work with, um, that is where they're getting hung up. Mm -hmm. Like, how do, I, how do I piece this together? And it sounds like if you follow this template in the AI factory, mm -hmm. not only will you help people maybe prioritize the use cases, but we'll give you some solid ground on the infrastructure uh, and the data to make, am I getting this right? That's right, no, okay. I, 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 you should be selling this for us. There, there we go. Here, here we are. <laughs> um, so then that begs the obvious question. Let's talk differentiation and distinction. 
Yeah. Uh, Dan and I, you know, I think we've been to 30 AI events this year yeah. alone, and there's a lot of people that seem to be going for, for this similar thing, not exactly the same. What distinguishes the Dell AI factory from your contemporaries? Yeah, we get that question all the time. Can anybody else build an AI factory? Well, no, and there's really three or four key reasons. That's provocative. Why. Yeah, absolutely not. Yeah. Not the way that we define it. Because to right. your point, an AI factory could live in your data center. It could have factory bits in the public cloud. It could have factory bits in a uh, cloud partner provider, a Colo right. facility. And then you could have factory bits on your PC, on your end user device. Ah. Where are you going to go besides Dell to kind of touch yeah. all those different places and provide you that infrastructure? So breadth of portfolio is unmatched in the industry. We're the only one-stop shop infrastructure provider for all of your AI factory use cases. We talked about our open ecosystem approach. We're not going to force specific closed models or limit the amount of choice that you provide. So we offer maximum choice. Two things we haven't talked about, time to value and TCO. Back to the public cloud versus on-premises discussion, we benchmarked this really, really closely when it comes to inferencing, comparing the cost, the total cost of ownership to do inferencing within the public cloud or on-prem. We're upwards of 75% lower cost or better total cost of ownership than the public cloud. So the financial, the economics, the ROI really come into play. And that's when only when choosing Dell infrastructure. Yeah. And the last one there is time to value. We've got such great expertise, and we talked a little bit about this earlier. Um, Dell is eating our own dog food. We are leading the way. We are a very large enterprise customer of our, of our, of our own that are deploying AI across all the key facets of the business today. We can now share those best practices, and we are. Right. So the time to value to deploy AI with Dell and the Dell AI factory is upwards of 80% faster than if you were to do it on your own. So breadth of portfolio, open ecosystem, um, depth of services portfolio, time to value, TCO, those are the five key distinguishers of why the Dell AI factory is better than any other generic factory that you could build out there. Uh, I, t I tell you what, Sam, I know that our uh, performance lab team, it's a joint venture between uh, Patrick and, 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 and my firm, Future Group, uh -huh. Signal 65, we actually tested some of these proof of concepts with Dell yeah. and, and with your technology. And uh, those findings could be out there. We've created some collateral. We should make sure everyone sees them because it was a very interesting TCO. Um, and we are seeing some interesting time to value data, mm -hmm. I think that's going to be a big marker. There's a lot of egress, a lot of companies have to decide what data stays, what data goes. Right. There will be a lot of on-prem for companies that want to get that value sooner. And the economics of AI is a really important component right now, because the dollars of the IT budget aren't getting bigger, they're being redistributed yep. to AI projects. So these CIOs and these business leaders, and they need to be really, really smart. But yeah. uh, I could stand here and talk to you, we could sit here probably sit for another here. hour. I could stand or sit, Sam, <laughs> and talk to you. But I just want to say thanks so much for stopping by. Absolutely. Congratulations on the progress being made this year. It's been a heck of a run. Yeah, for really. Dell Technology. Congratulations. Yeah, I remember some meetings you and I had yeah. years ago in the multi cloud conversations. Higher. AI has really been a big moment for Dell, and it's really finding some momentum. And I know you've, uh, there's a lot of your work. Yeah, and, and thank you both for your partnership. Couldn't be more excited to spend time with you. Yeah. It's always my favorite. This is my first thing of the entire week outside of the keynotes, and so I'm super excited. Uh, have a great week, yeah. and I uh, appreciate the partnership. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you soon, sir. Yes. All right, everybody. If you're with us live, thanks so much for joining. And of course, for everyone out there as part of our 6.5 community, we appreciate you being part of it. Hit that subscribe button. Stay with us live here at the event. The 6.5 and Dell Technologies partnering here at Dell Technologies World 2024 in Las Vegas. Patrick and I signing off for now.